the ninth person to get off. It's the first time I've heard of this attribute. Oh, you probably wouldn't have. This is the first time us prophets have seen it. This brat. He was giving an excuse. I wanted to tease him a bit. But it is strange. If you really receive the revelation, why aren't you a revelator instead of someone who got off? What is with this name? That, uh, the revelation, no, the, the book of revelation, Sun Cook stuttered. It was delightful to watching him try to avoid lie detection. I wondered how honest he could be. Sun Cook finally closed his eyes. When I read the book of revelation, I stopped. You stopped reading it? Why didn't you read it? The contents of the book of revelations are very difficult, vast and profound. Then you were the ninth person to get off? Yes. I don't think that would be much help to me. No, I can definitely help you. The confused Sun Cook continued speaking gibberish while uneasily turning his smartphone on and off. Why do you keep touching that smartphone? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a smartphone addict. He was trying to get advice from the other ones who got off, but that didn't last long. Are you going on the internet? Y yes, that's right. It's, it's the ability of the hermit. At Sun Cook's words, I looked towards Hong Dong Hun. The hypnotized boy was busily tearing at his fingernails with empty eyes. The Hermit King of Shadows, who had the powerful information manipulation ability. This boy couldn't be kept under the Prophets. If the Prophets became involved in the story in this way, the original novel was ruined, and the plans I had set up would be wasted. I had to stop these guys before everything went wrong. Do the other Prophets also have the attribute of getting off? Yes. How many are there in total? That... Sun Cook hesitated for a moment before opening his mouth. As far as I know, there are 48 people. 48 people? It was smaller than I thought. Considering that chapter 1 had 1,200 hits, and chapter 10 had 120 hits, I thought there would be at least 100 people. Sun Cook's words resolved my curiosity. I know there were more prophets originally, but I expect most of them didn't pass this first scenario. They are dead despite knowing the future? That... We had received the revelation, but we only realized recently that it was a true revelation. Now it made sense. Perhaps at the start of the scenario, a few readers thought that a novel that started serialization 10 years ago would become a reality. They might not remember it straight away. I thought it was strange that Sonko survived. Furthermore, this guy was the ninth person to stop reading, so he was literally one of the earliest readers. Now how did he survive? I fortunately survived the carriage. If it hadn't been for another prophet nearby, I would have died. Another prophet in the same place as him? That, the moment that Lee Sonko was about to speak, the ground slightly shook. The vibration was transmitted despite sound wave blocking. Sonko and I ran out of the tent at the same time. I thought it was a sudden sub-scenario, but that wasn't it. Two people stood in the center of the epicenter. The man and woman facing each other. I didn't know the man, but the other person was. You aren't a supporting role, yet you dare push me? What are you talking about, you dog-like jerk? Not surprisingly, it was Zhong Hee-won. What? Dog? You bitch! The man grabbed a very large ring sword from his back. His overall level seemed in line with Zhong Hee-won's, but it wasn't enough. Zhong Hee-won's movements were already above incarnations of the same class. Zhong Hee-won's blade moved lightly as the man attacked. The character Zhong Hee-won has activated the special option of Mikazuchi Mina Chika, Death God's footsteps. Zhong Hee-won! Zhong Hee-won stopped her blade just before she cut off the man's head. The hairs were rising on the man's neck. It was a tremendous difference in speed. If I hadn't intervened, the man would be dead. A startled Song Kook cried out, Zhong min Sob, what are you doing now? I realized that when I saw Song Kook's confusion. A exclusive skill characterless is activated. Then the expected message popped up. The information of this person can't be read in character list. This person isn't registered in character list. That's right. He was also a prophet. After a while, another prophet was on his knees in front of me, with Son Cook next to him. I'm sorry, my friend didn't know anything. Hey, apologize quickly. The man sitting beside him bowed towards me. I'm sorry. Unlike Son Cook, he was a very prideful person and couldn't completely remove the anger from his face. I looked at Zhong Hee-won and said, Zhong Hee-won, I told you not to be reckless. This bastard. Zhong Hee-won. Zhong Hee-won made an surprise expression for the first time. I'm sorry, you Zhong Hee-won. Zhong Hee-won bowed and turned to leave. Lee Hyung Sung faltered with a strange expression. I knew that Zhong Hee-won wasn't the type to raise a sword to someone for no reason. However, it was dangerous to move in this current situation. The other man looked at me and asked, Are you really you, Zhong Ok? Yes. Are you also a prophet? Yes. There was a complicated expression on his face. He looked between me, Zhong Hee-won, and Lee Hyung Sung. Then he glanced at Sung Kook and said, Excuse me, you Zhong Ok Nim, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to leave you for a moment. Sung Kook, talk with me for a minute. He left the tent while Sung Kook bowed to me. I won't wait long. Yes. It wouldn't be like this if it was the original Yu Zhongok, but I had a reason for allowing them to talk. As soon as Song Kook left the tent, I immediately called to Bi Hyung. Hey Bi Hyung. What is it? Having fun again? Hearing enhancement, 2,000 coins. Now Bi Hyung adapted. It took less than three seconds before an advertisement went up. 2,000 coins have been consumed. The exclusive skill, hearing enhancement, has been acquired. Bi Hyung warned. Hey, be careful from the fourth scenario onwards. 
For such a wild scaled scenario, the intermediate Dokkabees have jurisdiction. I ignore Bi Hyung's words. The exclusive skill, hearing enhancement level 1, is activated. I move my body outside the tent block by sound wave blocking, and voices start to be heard. They weren't too far away from where I was hiding. Hey, isn't it slightly strange? What? Do you see that as a handsome face? What are you talking about suddenly? The author said that Yu Zhongo was handsome. This bastard. Fortunately, someone could dismiss it. The author might have different tastes. He is Yu Zhongo for sure. He's the same dirty nature. You only got off the ninth chapter. What do you know? This... You really don't remember it since you read it a long time ago. Still, aren't there some scenes pretty clear with memory benefits? Would you even remember the prologue without the privilege? You might not be alive if it wasn't for me. Their voices were coming closer. It's weird no matter how I look at it. Setting aside Lee Hyung-sung, who is that strange woman? If I remember correctly, there wasn't such a woman in the third regression. And check it out. See if he really is Yu Zhongok. But what if he really is real? Then we'll go according to clan. If we get Yu Zhongok here, we can deal with those who read up until the 50th chapter. Some really good information was coming in. Despite wanting to hang on to the main character, these guys were unleashing all types of curse words because of their situation. This is why they were humans. Sung Kuka and the man were coming closer. I apologize for the wait. Let's go inside. We went back into the tent. Yu Zhongok Nim, I apologize for my previous disrespect. I will greet you again. I'm Zhong Min Sob. The man smiled and bowed. Once again, this guy had pretty good items for being beaten by Zhong Hyun. In particular, there was the useful fugitive's mask which allowed the user to freely change their face and appearance. I cut to the chase. Then where did you get off? Zhong Min Sob glared at Sung Kuk. He seemed to be saying something with his eyes. The 1089th person to get off. 1089. Considering the number of views for chapter 1 was 1,200, and the number of views for chapter 10 was 120, this guy was a person who got off quite late. Maybe this was the guy who saved Sung Kuk in the first scenario. As a person who has read the Book of Revelation, I am glad and honored to have met Yu Zhong Nim. However, Yu Zhong Nim, I'm sorry, but I can I ask you some questions? Question? What is the question? That, regarding Yu Zhong do you doubt that I'm the real Yu Zhong That That's not it. His face was red from my intense gaze. Try it. Yes? Ask me. The confused Zhong Min Sum nodded. Uh, then excuse me. In order to properly trick these guys, I had to keep a few things in mind. Far as I know, Yu Zhong took delusional demon Kim Namun as a commandant in the third progression. You have a strange woman with you instead of Kim Namun. I thought she was Li Ji He, but she doesn't seem to be in her teens. I also heard you calling her by a different name. His memory and observation skills were quite good. Like Zhong Min Sum said, this world had already changed from the third turn than I knew. And I had to shift this changed world to suit my taste as much as possible. If you're asking me why I don't have the delusional demon with me, the answer is simple. In this turn, the delusional demon doesn't exist. Huh? Doesn't exist? Perhaps... Did he die? Yes. Their faces were filled with confusion for a moment. Zhong Min Sub asked. No, uh, how? Who, who the hell killed Kim Namun? The delusional demon Kim Namun. These prophets' mouths were slowly drooping. Now it would drive in the last wedge. He died at the hands of a prophet like you.